Welcome to Bible Tract Echoes. This program is the radio ministry of Bible Tracts Incorporated. Our mission is to take the Word of God to all the world. Our Bible teacher is the director of Bible Tracts, Pastor Mark Smith. Since 1938, Bible Tracts Incorporated has been publishing clear gospel tracts and supplying them to churches, missionaries, and individuals all over the world, and all at no charge. Information on how you can receive a free sample pack of our tracts will be given at the end of this broadcast. Now for our Bible study, here is our teacher, Pastor Mark Smith. Hello, my friend. Welcome to the broadcast. It's Tuesday, and we call our Tuesday broadcast all by the same title. We call them our Tract and Truth Tuesday. Tract and Truth. Now, that word tract, let me spell it for you. It's T-R-A-C-T. It's a reference to an evangelism tool. A gospel tract is a short written presentation of God's plan of salvation. And Tract and Truth Tuesday, we use to emphasize using tracts, telling the gospel and making sure that we're clear with the truth of the gospel tract and truth. And it's Tuesday. Now, friend, I have a gospel tract in front of me here. I want to tell you about it here in a moment. I want to give you a gift, a free gift of a sample packet containing one each of all of our English gospel tracts. I want to do all that, but let me lead into the broadcast this way. One week from now, if you are hearing the program on its regularly scheduled time, one week from now is Christmas Day. And if you are anything like me, there's going to be a lot of activity and busyness in the next week. A part of the busy schedule will mean that my wife and I will eat some extra meals away from home and restaurants. And yes, to be sure, many of those will be fast food places, but there will be some times we go to a sit-down restaurant where somebody comes and serves us. Some who listen to this broadcast know that we have a gospel tract designed especially to evaluate the service done by those who wait on our tables or do some other kind of service as well. Recently, I received a letter really questioning the track here. Thank you. Your service was. The one writing the letter was a believer, a Bible college graduate. He serves as a waiter in an Italian restaurant. Now, his letter urged us to not use this track due to the fact that the track had offended one of the servers there in his restaurant. Now, it wasn't the gospel that offended the lost waiter. It was the way the track was used and plus the less than sufficient size tip that came with the track. I want to tell you more about the story. You stay tuned here with us. My Bible is open to 2 Corinthians chapter 6. I'm going to read one verse there, 2 Corinthians and chapter 6. Now, I'm going to be telling this story of this letter about this gospel track called Thank You Your Service Was, but I have another track in my hand right now. This one's entitled, Have You Received God's Gift? Have you received God's gift? On the front face of this track, there is a man holding a globe, a globe of the world, and coming out from where the country of Israel is on there, there is a cross, a big cross making a shadow on the globe. And even the gospel in picture form begins to come out on the face of the track. But the track begins this way. A gift must be received in order to be enjoyed. You need God's gift because you need a Savior. And then there's a Bible verse here, Romans 3.23. And there's another Bible verse that says this, There's no man that sinneth not. The wages of sin is death, which means eternal separation from God. It goes on to say, Someday you must face a holy God in your sins unless you find some way to remove them. The Lord Jesus said, here's a Bible verse, Ye shall die in your sins, whither I go you cannot come. If you try to earn or merit forgiveness and favor with God, which you can't do, you will never be sure you're saved. For how can you know that you are good enough and religious enough? And the track goes on to say, but God is a gift to give to you. It's a better way, God's gift, and talks about the person of Jesus Christ, his death on Calvary, his shed blood, and your need, the person's need to receive him as Savior. It's a tremendous tool. This one, as I said, is one of the tracks I use probably more than the majority of the ones. It's one I just happen to like. You can like different ones. This is the one that I tend to like. Oh, friend, 
you need this track. Lost people need this track. He's going to put you in the path of lost people who need this track. you got to get the track from us, please. At the end of the program, my announcer will make known to you three ways by which you can give to us your name and your mailing address. If you'll do that, we will send you that free sample packet of tracks. Both the gift track I've mentioned here and the thank you for your service track will be in there, plus 39 other ones. If you can't wait to the end of the program, go to our website, which is BibleTracksInc.org. That verse I'm going to read here out of 2 Corinthians 6 says this, verse 3, giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blasphemed. Listen to it again. Giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blasphemed. Let me come back to my story about that critical letter about our track. The track in question, as I said, is the track, Thank You, Your Service Was. It's a track that allows you to be able to rate and evaluate the person's service. Now, here are some really good lessons I'm taking away from this critical letter. And by the way, the letter was written in a godly, helpful tone. But here is my takeaway lessons. Takeaway lesson number one is this. Leave a tip that is more than required. Leave a tip that's more than required. If you are going to leave a small tip, please know that you're going to offend the server that gave you service. You're going to offend them needlessly. A small undersized tip plus a gospel track will cause the server to be turned off both by the person they served and the gospel itself. An undersized tip puts a stumbling block in the way of the sinner. We dare not do that. We dare not put an offense that the ministry be blasphemed. My second takeaway is this. Don't just leave this track personally hand it to them. Don't just put it on the table. Take this track, thank you for your service, and personally hand it to the server. Typically, when I do this, I say something like this. I'm quoting now. I have something for you. I have a tip to say thank you for your kindness to me, but I also have this pamphlet. It allows me to grade your service, and your service was excellent. I say this with a chuckle and a smile on my face. Then I go on to say this. There's only one grade higher than the one I gave you. This pamphlet will explain all about that. I then hand them the track and my tip. I say thank you for a very pleasant meal. Friend, let's not just give them a track on the table with a smiling, appreciative face and look on our face. Let's hand them the track. And by the way, If your service was lousy, (laughs) if your server was lousy to you, perhaps you ought to leave a generous tip with a different track. Let me ask you, do you think Jesus would leave a cheap tip if he were to receive poor service or would he show grace? Don't go down to the level of lousy service. Raise your level to serve others. Jesus died so that people who gave you lousy service could get saved. Humble yourself. Serve them with a gracious tip. A couple of minutes ago, I talked about that track, Have You Received God's Gift? Well, as I said, it's one of my favorites, and I use it a lot. Do you remember the story in Acts chapter 3 where Peter and John went to the temple and they met there a lame man and healed him? And Peter said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have I give thee. Now, maybe when in a restaurant and uh, you should borrow that little verse and use it in a wise manner. Here's something I have done before in saying to a waiter or waitress. Here's what I've said. I have a little bit of silver and gold I'm going to share with you, but I'm going to share with you something else. I have an even greater treasure to give to you. It's the treasure of eternal life. Then I hand them the tip and I hand them the track. I found that it's very well received. Now, I've met some believers who are, well, I think the word is stingy. I've met some stingy believers. Now, just Take that in and mull that over in your mind a moment. Put those two words together, stingy Christian. 
stingy Christian? I think that may fit in the definition of an oxymoron. How can you and I, who have received so much from Christ and yet we deserve nothing at all, how can we be stingy with others now? Especially how can we be stingy with the gospel? And friend, let me ask, if a $10 tip encourages the sinner to read the gospel, but instead only a $5 tip turns them away from the gospel, which should I do? Which should you do? Not giving an offense to the ministry. You might say, well, Brother Mark, that server gave me lousy service. Okay, I believe you, they did. But how has your service, your personal service for Jesus been over the last month? Yeah, yours. How's my service been over the last month? Have you and I ever given God lousy service? But aren't you and I glad that God has continued to be gracious to us? Aren't we children of our gracious Heavenly Father? Shouldn't we display the character of grace of our Heavenly Father? Years ago, my wife and I were in a sit-down restaurant, and the waiter did an awful job. It was terrible. I was frustrated, and I was already in a grumpy mood. And frankly, for me, that's a rarity. But I went into the restaurant in a grumpy mood, and the waiter gave me lousy service. As the meal was done, I showed my wife what I planned to leave as my tip, and she simply looked me in the eye and asked this question. Is that what Jesus would leave? (laughs) Is that what Jesus would leave? Now, friend, when you are in a grumpy mood and you're a preacher, you don't want your wife preaching to you, but she did in a very tender, gracious way. And to God's glory, I listened. I tripled my tip and I said, my demeanor, my attitude, my grumpiness has got to change. And I changed it. Friend, we represent a gracious, giving God as we go out before the world, and that includes in restaurants during this holiday season. Remember how busy you are and how hectic life can be? Well, guess what? It's the same way for that person serving you in the restaurant. Let's be gracious because you know what? Jesus would be, and since Jesus has been gracious to us, we can be gracious to others as well. This little simple gospel track, Thank You, Your Service Was, is a great tool. We get to great people's service, uh, the, uh, starting from the bottom up. It's acceptable. It's good. It's excellent. But the one at the top is this, the greatest service in the world. And this gospel track goes on to say that the person who served you gave you excellent service, but not the greatest service in the world because the track says to give you the greatest service in the world that they would have had not only to serve you, but then pay your bill. And we're told in the gospel track that no waiter or waitress is going to do that, but there is one that did. His name is Jesus. He's the Christ, the Son of God, the eternal creator God. He came to earth and he served us. And then he paid for the bill by dying on the cross, shedding his blood suffering in agony that you we and I through him can have our sin debt paid we can receive him as savior and he'll give to us the gift of eternal life receive him today thank you for joining us today for bible track echoes if you would like to receive a free sample packet of our tracks you can contact us by calling 309-828-6888 Our mailing address is Bible Tracks, P.O. Box 188, Bloomington, Illinois, 61702. Again, our phone number is 309-828-6888. And our mailing address is P.O. Box 188, Bloomington, Illinois, 61702. You can also contact us through our website. Our web address is BibleTracksInc.org. Remember, the word tracks is spelled T-R-A-C-T-S. That address is BibleTracksInc.org. May the Lord richly bless you as you serve Him.